Have a lovely weekend. Thousands of British pension holders who were persuaded to invest their life savings into an unregulated German property scheme are now facing financial ruin. So they were promised huge returns and assured their money was safe, but the firm Dolphin Trust, now known as Germany Property Group, has collapsed. Well, an investigation by Radio 4's You and Yours programme can reveal that an estimated £1 billion is owed to investors all over the world. Our consumer affairs correspondent Sarah Corker reports. This was the sales pitch. Lend us your pensions to buy these historic derelict buildings across Germany. We'll do them up, sell them on, and benefiting from tax breaks from the government, pay you back with interest and lots of it. These were the promises made by the Dolphin Trust. And people like Caroline in Wiltshire invested their pension savings. It was about taking that frozen pension and doing something with it. I wasn't necessarily aware that it could be lost utterly completely, which is what this is going to do, I think. Six years ago, after a divorce, Caroline had just started up an events company. Concerned for her financial future, she was persuaded by an independent salesman to lend Dolphin £15,000, a third of her pension. She did get some interest payments, but was supposed to get the rest of her money back last year. She's still waiting. There's a very slim chance that I'll get any of that money back, to be honest with you. And, you know, we're in a situation, my partner and myself, we're both self-employed. We have a, you know, a relatively large mortgage still for our age. Um, that was going to help pay it off. And now I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it. Dolphin, now known as German Property Group, promised huge returns and their original capital back if investors lent their money for up to five years. The firm has now collapsed and owes an estimated £1 billion to investors around the globe. The businessman behind Dolphin was Charles Smethurst, seen here on the right. Charles Smethurst, CEO and founder of Dolphin Capital, based in Hanover. The BBC has seen documents suggesting some investors' money was used to pay loans to family members and loans to his wife's TV shopping channel. Mark is another investor waiting for his money to be returned. After being made redundant, he decided to invest his whole pension with the company. I think about this all my waking hours. I invested £279,000 which is my entire uh, savings from my pension fund and the majority of any money that my wife and I had to look forward to into, into our retirement. And I'm just hoping I can get something back from this, otherwise I just don't know what the future will hold for us. He told me he's already had to sell the family home. Do you feel you've been misled? Very much so. And I, I think it's unacceptable that the, uh, the UK authorities are, are not, in my opinion, taking this as seriously as they should. Since the rules on what people can do with their pension pots were relaxed in 2015, the Ombudsman says there's been a rise in complaints about so-called DIY or self-invested pensions. We often hear stories of people who've been cold called and felt pressured into making decisions and I'd say don't do that, take your time, either seek financial advice or go to a trusted source. Back in Wiltshire, Caroline says she'll now have to work many more years before retiring, while Mark is taking legal action to try to retrieve some of his savings. Some investors have had their money back. The German property group, though, is currently in administration. Neither Mr Smethurst nor his wife responded to the BBC's questions. Sarah Corker, BBC News.